how to analyze geological samples with Raman microscopy. This video covers the Raman imaging of a geological sample from the Devonian of Scotland using the Raman Touch Raman microscope. The first step in our workflow, of course, is to put the sample into the sample chamber of the microscope. In case the specimen is irregularly shaped, it is important to align it parallel to the objective, for example, by using a small spirit level. Once we have the sample settled, we can move over to the computer. The first thing to do here is to get a nice overview image of the sample. We do so initially choosing a low magnification objective, such as the 5 times or 10 times. But as you can see, we see nothing yet. That is because the sample is out of focus. We can easily change that by using the mouse wheel. Now we have a crisp image with which we can easily locate areas of interest by moving over the sample. This is done using either the stage controller for rough navigation or by pressing the mouse wheel for finer control. Both methods can be used in combination. Once you have located a region that looks promising, like in my case this globular structure right here, you can theoretically continue to the next step. However, depending on your sample, you might have to use another objective. Since I want to image a specific area of my structure, I will switch to a higher magnification. All this takes is a simple mouse click. Now is a good moment to carry out a calibration to ensure accurate and reliable spectral data. Once this is done, we can move on. To be able to initiate a preview measurement, the optical image should be paused. With this initial measurement, we determine the optimal setting for the actual measurement. Here, a particular focus must be on the power. If it is too low, no suitable spectra will be created. If it is too high, you run a chance of damaging your sample. Thus. Always start with low power and then gradually increase it while keeping an eye on the spectrum to the right. Once you're satisfied with the data output, the optical image can be unfrozen and the values from the preview can be transferred to the measuring tab. Before starting the measurement, it is important that you define the measurement mode and select the region of interest. If necessary, the resolution or binning can be adjusted. The system will also provide an estimate of the imaging duration. This comes in handy if you want to know how much time you can spend on another task before having to come back to the Raman Touch. Finally, we can start the measurement. The viewer, which displays the chemical image, will appear right away. It shows the measurement in real time. You can either adjust the visualization parameters as the image is created or, if a similar sample was measured before, import the previous settings. During the measurement, the spectra are continuously displayed in this window. To specify which material should be represented in the Raman image and in which color, you can select the peaks of interest and assign colors to them. This causes the areas in the Raman image, where the selected peaks were measured, to appear in your preferred colors. You can adjust all this during or after the measurement. In my sample, the focus was on the association of silica with a peak at around 481 wave numbers and organic matter with peaks at roughly 1580 and 1350 wave numbers. The Raman Touch accurately images the two different materials and shows their spatial association. Of course, this is just one of the many things you can use the Raman Touch for in geological applications. In a follow-up video, I will show some of these applications. But for now, let us quickly come back to the workflow. Once the measurement is done, we can save it as well as the microscopy images and the chemical Raman images. With this saved, 
you can reopen the file anytime to make adjustments. I hope that with this walkthrough, I was able to demonstrate the straightforward workflow of the Raman Touch microscope for geological samples. Thanks for watching.